Hi there everyone and welcome to The Walking Dead, a new frontier also known as Season 3, Episode 5 from the Gallows. It's also the final episode, so with this we're closing off the story of the city we're in. And I'm wondering if we're also closing off the story of Javier. Because if I'm honest, I don't think a lot of people are surviving this part. So that's going to be fun. Previously on The Walking Dead. Whatever this thing is between us, I want to give it a chance. And I know the fact that David is back in our lives now makes this whole thing a little more complicated. But do you feel the same way? I'm in. All the way. Oh my god, really? Really. Just look what he's done. I had a very interesting conversation with your friend Eleanor last night. Isn't that right, Eleanor? That's... that's right. You've put me in a no-win situation here. Both of them deserve to die for their crimes. However, Javi, I'll let you spare one of them. Just one. Trip has to live. Shoot him. Wait! I said Trip should live! No! How about you take David and the rest of your people and just get the hell out? We're leaving. All of us. Right now. It's Kate. She's coming for us. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Kate! This game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. While we're still breathing, Javi, I'm letting the bones speak to me. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I think I can hear them. They're saying, You're gonna lose, come mierda, so play already. I must have inherited patience from Ma. Oh, come on, man. Calm down, David. No one is ever in a rush to lose. If he plays his last bone... You're out of the will, Javier. Motherfucker. Kicked out of baseball. Can't play dominoes. What exactly are you good at again, Javi? At least Stealing I can your actually wife. play baseball. Oh. Slugger. That's enough, both of you. It's not Javi's fault he's a disgrace to the game of dominoes. I won. That's ten bucks you owe me. Both of you. I know you're broke, Javi. You should sit out the next game, since we all know I'm gonna win. No shame in surrender. Now, don't break your hand patting yourself on the back. I'll beat you next time. Should you even be betting on these games? Isn't that what got you in trouble to begin with? Do we need to have an intervention? Fuck you, David. Now, keep on talking, David. See what happens. Hey, hey, this is Domino's. Winning means you get to be a little bit of a pendejo. <laughs> Pay up, little brother. If you can. I'll cover for Javier. Oh, is it your turn to do that now? I lost track. Poor, helpless Javi. Get my wallet, mijo. Keep an eye on him. You don't want him snatching an extra 20 for gas money. It's on the counter. Yeah. Sure, Pa. Fucking David. Pa? What's this? Hey! Man, I was reading that. What? Wait, what's up? What the fuck is this? None of your business. 
He has cancer. What? Bob, really? I'm old. Old people get cancer. You didn't need to know. That's not for you to decide. Jesus, Pa. I'm so sorry. Be sorry for your domino skills. Yeah. <laughs> How bad? It's okay, mijo. Ask me. How bad is it? You won't have to worry about paying me back that ten bucks. Oh, oh Jesus God. fucking Christ, Pa. Hey, settle, David. Uh, Ow. Not again. You haven't told Mama. And neither will either of you. You hear me? Mouth shut. That's not okay, Pa. You have to tell her. Uh, when the time is right, I, I will. That's not good enough. It's good enough for me. You're gonna need her help with this, Pa. Driving you to the doctor, getting prescriptions. Wait, what are your options? Treatment, stuff like that. Chemo, radiation, all that expensive mierda. Great. When do you start? I turned it down. Turned it down? You don't get to turn it down. So much money and for what? Another month. Another game of dominoes to lose. It's not worth it. If I was still playing ball, I could have paid for it. I'll pay for it. It's not happening. Save your money. Fuck the money. I can afford it. You can afford it, David. But my pride can't. Let's play another game. You are a fucking coward! A selfish coward! Javi, can you believe this shit? David, I get it, man. It's not fair, but come on, take it easy. Sit down. Both of you. You know, I pray for daughters. <laughs> Every night your mother was pregnant with both of you. Please, God, a daughter. Anything but a son. Anything but another me. Anything but another hot-headed idiot with his heart in the right place. Anything but another foolhardy, handsome gambler. Anything at all. Please, Papa. Don't give up. Fight. Fight for our name. For our blood. For our family. Please, fight. You have to fight, Pa. We don't just give up. Any of us. Okay. Okay? Okay. I'll think about it. Oh, thank you, Pa. Thank you, Avi. Now can we play another game? I'll grab some more beers. <sighs> so, what are you really gonna do? Truth be told, whatever gets your mother off my ass. You think you two were mad at me for keeping secrets? <laughs> but it's good to see you and David on the same side of things, or a change. I'm gonna be a name carved in stone before you know it, Javier. That'll be me. Letters on a rock that nobody wants to visit. I know you think you're strong enough to handle that alone. And so does your brother. And you're both wrong. You have to take care of each other. You two are all I'll leave behind. Like Gabe and Mariana will be for David. Legacy, Javier. It's all anyone leaves behind. That and their bones be brothers before it's too late that's not too much to ask one last favor for your old man okay pa i'll try as hard as you can as as hard as i can i still need to pay david pa oi if you had just won the game we wouldn't have had this problem <laughs> So you're blaming me for all this. I'm depending on you, mijo. We both are. That hit way too close to home. In a way. My dad was once... Uh... Okay, calm down, fuck. Um, my dad was once diagnosed with cancer
luckily we were early with the diagnose and treatments happened treatment worked and he's still alive but just uh, the talks that you get then the realization of what might happen if treatment does not catch on of how you'll leave things behind who you'll leave behind and oh, it's a heavy fucking thing to have to think about as the person having the disease but you know being a family member of it it's still it's rough so that talk that the brothers just had that just felt me talking to my brothers like how we're going to do everything and how we're going to take my dad to the hospital and to treatments and shit. It was a rough period. And I was like in the middle of high school. So that completely ruined my high school. But, you know, the most important thing is, is that my dad is still alive. And I know that not everyone has that privilege of surviving cancer. You know what, under this uh, video I'll put a link to whatever cancer research charity thing I can find. And it's the most trustworthy because charities, you always gotta watch out with them. And, you know, if anyone can donate anything to them, that would be appreciated. Uh, so at this point I'm also deciding that at some point I'm gonna do a stream for charity. It might have already happened a long, long time ago by the time this video goes up. <laughs> I can't make any promises in that area. But, yeah, if you can do anything to help the fight against cancer, doesn't matter if it's through me or just on your own actions or whatever, that would be greatly appreciated. Anywho, back to the fun game that you just wanted to watch because it's entertaining content and not heavy personal ha 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 death story almost ha ah, it's... Uh, oh, you Chief! Oh, oh, oh. Chief! Get to her. Uh, mother fuckers, come on. Oh yeah, no, she did. Put that door open for that long. Come on, David! Please tell me you're done killing the old woman and help me! Oh my god! Stomp on her head! Oh! That's even better. Kate? Kate! Shit! Kate! Is she in the back of the truck? Kate! Oh! I knew it! Grab your bats! Kate! Gabe! Don't Gabe, use your gun! Here. Where's Kate? She's not here. She must have gotten out. If something's happened to her, if you've gotten her... Shut up! For once, and help me find her! What do you think I'm doing? Kate! 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 David, wait! Oh God! Come on! Get her off of him! Oh, fuck. I found you! Yay! Kate, I'm so glad Holly, you're- Holly, thank God you're all right. <laughs> Uh, I'm just glad you're still in one piece. Whoa. Hey there. It's, uh, good to see you, too. Okay. I guess. <laughs> um. What the 
hell's the matter with you two? Focus on your surroundings. Yes. Sorry, Manon. There's Gabe and Clem. Lead the way, Javi. Bunk. Get the knee like this. Yeah. I got a great. Go, teacher. Gabe. Go. You guys all right? Yeah. I'm fine. Tell till percents. Look at them. There's so many. A fucked up we'll situation. Be safer inside. Get in. In association with Skybound Entertainment, The Walking Dead, a new frontier. We are so fucked in multiple ways. <laughs> oh God. I'm sorry, David. I'm so sorry. That should hold them for now. You put up a good fight out there. I don't care what you think. Gabriel, do not take that tone with me. You murdered that man after they let you go. You're a killer, just like they said. You did that? You don't understand. It was them or us. I had to do it. They would never let us go. They still would have killed us, sooner or later. You screwed up, David. You were completely out of control. Now everyone in town's gonna think you've lost your mind. His brains splattered all over me. Ugh. You are my son. I am doing what any parent would do to keep you safe. You do not get to judge my actions. Do you hear me? Hey, you do not walk away from me. When someone speaks to you, you stand up and answer them. David, that's enough. He's not a little boy. He doesn't need that from you. What he needs is to learn to keep his opinions to himself until he understands what the hell he's talking Fuck about. Fuck you, man. I'm just... I'm trying to protect you, Gabe. I lost you once. I won't let it happen again. Okay? We made it through alive. Let's just be glad about that. We need to check the other entrances. Make sure we're safe. Gabe, want to help me out? Javi? Gabriel! I'll help you, Gabe. Let's go. No. We don't need you. Hey, yo. I'll help, too. O okay. Hey. Clem is with them. It's fine. It's not that. It's... Let's just... <sighs> I'm all over the place. I need to focus on something. Anything. Just need to focus. On whatever. Let's see if there are any other survivors. It'd be good to know who's still around. I don't want to think about how many people may have just died. <sighs> but I guess I'm gonna have to find out eventually. Let's go. Find out how many people survived. We'll mourn the dead later, but now we gotta focus on the survivors. Oh my god. This is a fucking nightmare. Mommy, it's them. I'm glad Mariana didn't live to see this. To see what her father's become. To see what... I've done. She'd be just like that little boy. Scared that the monsters are coming after her next. She would never trust us again. Leave Mariana where she is. In peace. In the past. How many children became orphans today because of us? How many parents are now childless? Too many. I did this to them. That hole is there because of me. I'm just as responsible for it as you are. You weren't behind the wheel, Javi. It's different. I can't leave until I make this right. All of this. Let's fix this as best we can. All right, Kate. Let's make things right. I don't know if it's actually possible, but I feel a lot better knowing you're there too.
where are we going? Episode 5 from the gallows. Eleanor! Sorry about trip. Eva's also going to be pissed at me. Trip was my best friend, Javi. He died because of you. He didn't deserve this. This is all because of Joan. It's on her, not us. I never thought it would be like this. You have to believe that. Everyone from Prescott is dead. Everyone but... Me. What's done is done. I don't have to like it. But I can't change it. But you... You've got a lot of nerve showing up here. After the bullshit you pulled! You're unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable! We're here to help. Let's settle this and focus on that. You want to help. <laughs> yeah, that's what? laughable. you, Eleanor. Why did you tell Joan what we were doing? I was triaging a bad situation. Their doctor is barely functioning. And before you guys fucked it all up, their walls worked. It's not only about me. I can actually save lives here. Not just ditch them up and hope for the best. These people will die without me, Javi. I know she, well, fucked us over, but she's trying to help them. She's trying to make something right. That's worth forgiving, right? She's trying, that counts. She's doing a good thing now, but she's got a long way to go before I forgive her. <laughs> You're one to talk. You're directly responsible for help. all these deaths. Not you sided with Joe. Fern, is that you, darling? I'm here, handsome. Fern and Rufus. What's wrong with him? Bitten. He's slipping in and out of delirium. We have to find Ada. We have to find our daughter. I know that guy. We had a situation. He's lucky I didn't shoot him. Looks like his luck just ran out. Let them have a minute. It's the least we can do. Y'all get over here. You gotta cut his arm off. It's too far along. I'm sorry. Bullshit. It can work. I've seen it. Do you want his last moments alive to be more painful than they need to be? I just want to try. I can't lose everyone. Please. I'm begging you. Please. No way. I'm not a doctor. They're the only ones who should do that. I already said no. He's gonna fucking die! Fern. You need to put him down when he turns. That's an order. I'm so sorry. I want to help you. Okay. Well... What the- We're all fucking dead because of you! Hey, easy. You We're... blew a hole in our wall! Got my little girl killed! Got my whole fucking family killed! Richmond was fine until your stupid Easy ass for... showed up. We're dead fucking meat, David. Might as well take out this asshole while I can. Fern. Shut up! You're wrong. This wasn't my fault. But it was my baby! Stand down. That's an order. Kate, no! Fern, this is all because of me. I caused the explosion. I killed your daughter. Please, forgive me. It's my fault. Please. Please, forgive both of us. <sighs> no! Oh my god! Holy shit! Oh my god! David! Oh! My god! Yeah! You're welcome, Javi. That dead guy. David, what are you doing? This isn't right. David! Did you really need to break her arm? 
That wasn't necessary. Okay. Don't thank me. Uh... No! Oh my god, David, David! What the fuck? Gabe! I, I, I'm sorry, that was an accident. You were going to kill her. She was going for her gun. Look at her. <laughs> Gabe, I'm... She can't even stand up. It was over the line, Gabe. You're right. <laughs> Gabe. I sided with you, dude. I'm You're sorry. going way off the handle. I didn't mean to do that to you. You need to calm the fuck down. You know that. Why the hell are you all looking at me that way? They're just... They're scared, David. Of what? I'm protecting them. Why are you pointing a gun at us? So I'm all alone. No, you're a part of us, but you need to calm the fuck down. Fine then. You people are on your own. I've seen that look in his eyes before. You should go after him. Fucking hell. I mean, her man was dying right next to her. Of course, emotions are going to be running high. But to break her arm... At least restrain her to grab the gun or something. Don't fucking break her arm. What the hell? David? What are you doing? Come on. Just take a step back. You wouldn't want to, you know, slip or something. Come over here. Or are you afraid of me too? A bit. I know the rest of them are. Right? I'm a lot more afraid of falling. And I'm even more afraid of landing. There's nothing to be afraid of. It'd be over in an instant. My wife, Javi. My son. They look at me differently. Maybe you're seeing them differently. I want to show you something. Stand with me. This is a bad idea. Holy shit! Uh, why the hell are you smiling? See that sewer line over there? Perfect placement for a trench. That hill about a hundred paces west of it. Sniper's wildest dream come true. I'm a soldier, Javi. I see this landscape like a painter sees a blank canvas. Like how you used to see a baseball diamond. I'm a soldier. This makes sense to me. I was made for this. I thrive in this. Baseball was a lifetime ago. I miss it so fucking much. When I wasn't deployed, I'd miss being out in the field. Now that's all I am. Every day. A soldier isn't a husband. Or a father. A soldier is a soldier. Nothing else. You could be both. Nothing. Nothing at all. Call yourself whatever you want. I still see you as my brother. That is kind of you to say, Javi. I wish... I wish I had your heart sometimes. I wish I had your balls. I want to not, change, not like Javi. That. I always have. Really? All you ever tried to do was get me to change. <sighs> Only because I couldn't bring myself to do it first. It's the one war I could never win. And I'm wondering why. Is it because I don't know how? Or because it's impossible to change who you really are? There's a way. There always is. No matter how lost you are. You just have to keep looking until you find it. Looks pretty messy. For now. Maybe you're right. Maybe. Just gotta live long enough to find out. Just like with anything else. 
I did what you asked. You did. Thanks for that. So now, will you step back? <laughs> sure. I found them! They're up here! Be careful, oh. Javi. I ran into... What? Oh, hi, Ava. She was still outside when we checked on the entrances. There are muertos everywhere. We got her inside just in time. Seriously, I've never seen so many muertos. Oh, it's awful out there. That was the right thing to do. Proud of you, buddy. Ava, uh, about earlier. I guess I owe you an explanation about what happened on the stage with Joan and Tripp. You don't have to say anything to me. Your actions said plenty. I read you loud and clear, but go ahead and say whatever you want. I stand by my decision. I'd do it again. He was a long time friend. And I just didn't know you as long. Just be glad the situation was what it was. And that she didn't make me pick between you and your brother. That would have been an easy choice as well. There's so many. They're pouring in. You don't know the half of it. The herd has taken over Richmond. The streets are filled with walkers. With that hole in the wall, this city is fucked. We're not safe here. No one is. Oh, Jesus Christ. What the fuck have we done? So what do we do? I remember the last time I was stuck here. on the roof. None of us do, Gabe. Stabilize the city. Figure out how to make it safer for everyone. I saw construction vehicles when we got the armored truck. We can use those to stop the Muertos, seal the breach, and save Richmond. That's over by the motor pool at the water tower. We could use the highway overpass to get to the water tower. Sounds good. Come on. Let's jump. Uh, I remember the last time we jumped. <laughs> ben died. Oh! <laughs> yeah, let's not do that. Please do Come not on. jump. It's an easy jump. Don't no 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 The last time we did this, Ben died and Kenny died. Well, we thought Kenny died. For our experience, Kenny died. Oh, we gotta watch out for these roofs. Stay aware of your surroundings, all of you. Let's move out. When we found Kate earlier, she hugged you. Why do you think she hugged you? Why was that? Just wondering. You really want to know? Then ask her. She won't even make eye contact with me. I think you already know, bro. Ooh, that's poor timing. We need to be careful up here or else the exact same thing will happen to us. Stay sharp and do not fire your guns. We're gonna be fine. That guy was all alone. We're not. Oh, what the hell? How are... <laughs> this is so fucking dangerous. There's no way we're gonna survive this. If we're just gonna go over rooftops and climb over billboards that have half fallen over. Everyone hold back. Let Javi and I clear out these walkers. Yeah, easy. No problem. Good to go. Let's move. That's a lot of them. You okay, bud? What's wrong, Gabe? Nah, I'm when I was little, Dad used to ask me what I wanted to be when I was a man. And I pointed him. He always liked that. I thought he was such a great guy. It would always make him smile. David may not be perfect, but he's not the worst role model in the world. <sighs> Maybe. Hello. Bonk. Never be like your uncle. He told 
told me that all the time. Don't be a man who relies on other people to solve your problems. Because then you're not a man at all. I used to think he was right. Not anymore, though, Javi. I can only hope I grow up to be like you. So, here's hoping. Oh, thanks, buddy. It means a lot. I'm sorry I never really said it before. I should have. It's all right. Thanks a million. You're welcome, a million. You took such good care of me. Now we need to take care of Dad. Yep. He's the one that needs our help. Exactly. He's gonna die. <laughs> Cape is 100% going to die. Gonna have to go around the side. Redemption arc There's means barely death. Any room. No time to waste. Come on. You know, I didn't think there was much that could scare me anymore. And yet, here we are. Goodbye, Kate. Just goes to show you. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Life is full of surprise. Fear is the coffee of emotions. It wakes you up, keeps you sharp. It could be a friend if you let it. Mm. I don't like this. This is such a stupid idea. Noodles! Oh. I know it was a single time thing, but I was mashing that button. Keep going, buddy. You've got to be more careful. I was being... Oh, fuck! Ah! Holy shit! Oh my god! Ava! Fuck! God damn it, no! I'm sorry, man. I know she was important to you. I would have died a long time ago without her. Thank you, Ava. Fucking hell. Well, goodbye, my friend. I think that was the quickest death ever. You gotta be more careful. Ah! Dead. We didn't even hear a splat or anything. Fuck. We have to get across. Bro, we should head back by now. Fucking hell, man. Like, I'ma be real. Th this is this is shit. I know Gabe doesn't see it, but David really is trying to look out for him. He's not doing the best job, but no one gives you a rule book to raise a kid. And they sure as shit don't. There's just one thing I don't get though. Did David really think he was helping AJ by letting him go? Why did he stop guarding him? Maybe you should ask him that. It might be that he just didn't care. Not everyone's like you, Clem. Not everyone wants to take care of a baby. I guess not, but after you put in all that work, so much of your heart... AJ was a brat. He lived with me after we kicked you out, Clem. Now, I'd already raised two kids. Thought it'd be a piece of cake. <laughs> not with that tyrant. Hmm. Is that why you gave him away? We had a bad winter. Destroyed every crop we had. I couldn't leave Richmond. And AJ couldn't stay in Richmond. I gave AJ to Lingard and told him to do whatever he had to to save his life. I miss that, Brett. Never asked Lingard about it again. Though I've wanted to. I bet the little brat misses you too. Both of you. It wasn't easy, Clem. Remember, far as I knew, I'd already lost two children. It wasn't any easier with number three. It's never easy. I'm gonna keep you alive. Keep all of us alive. And hope that that's enough. Hell yeah. Enough for atonement. He was your responsibility, no matter what. I thought it was best. You thought wrong. Yeah. Maybe I did. I think he actually tried his best. It's like Kenny leaving us behind. Could have taken care of us on his own, but... Damn. Holy shit. Chopped right in half. Um, 
This is so absolutely fucked. Well, there's the water tower. Not too far away. This thing is completely destroyed. Like, there's not even a railing to hold on to. The most thing there is is this. Uh... Oh, there's the other half. We should kill him so that when we cross over this, he doesn't just go crazy, starts moving the thing around. The hell happened here? It's already creaking without us standing on it. Fuck me. thinking it's that or go back come on this is such a bad idea we should go lightest to heaviest that way it won't break on the first swing I'll go first Clem <laughs> get a long run up but not too long if you take too many quick steps you'll propel yourself upward instead of out same with your jump just Run off the end, don't leave. David. Try not to... He's got this. She's right. I do. He didn't. No, I'm saying past tense because he's dying right here. Bye, Gabe. It was nice knowing you. Holy shit. He actually did it. Well, then who is dying here? Come on, Clem. Your turn. <laughs> For the record, I do not trust this thing. Yeah, me neither. Not at all. It's one thing for the kids to swing across, but us? Here's the secret. I guarantee you, you'll be just fine if you follow my advice perfectly. Okay. Whatever you do, don't fall. I'm gonna push you off the side of this thing. Hey, you can't deny I'm right. Bye bye. Oh fuck! Wow. Okay. Right, David, you're, huh? You're the little brother. Shit. You should go first. I might be the one dying. Oh, you're definitely lighter. Ah, oh, come on. You know the drill. Age before beauty. <laughs> you fucker. <laughs> so I just killed him with that. Um. <clears throat> Hell yeah. Javi! 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 Hang on! Just drop. Just do it, pussy. Oh, I actually have a bit of control over this. Don't bite me, you bitch! Don't bite me, you bitch! Oh, okay, that's good enough. Now go up. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Come on. Woo. Don't let it bite me. Don't let it bite me. Don't let it bite me. He's gonna bite my ankle. He's gonna take a nibble. No? You good? You okay? Oh my fuck that. <laughs> Seriously? Fuck you, helicopter. <laughs> That's the way I do work Almost as well. There. Whenever anything goes wrong, I just blame the fucking the the the, 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 the fryer and the grill or whatever. Like fuck you, you piece of shit. It works. It's a great way to get rid of emotion while not harming or like harming, not cussing out any coworkers, even though they are so fucking stupid. Just say fuck you to the grill. The grill won't care. Unless there's a machine ah, rise up there. Eh. Is track the herd. It's not like it's a terminator. We're safe distance. We need to get down there. We're not getting anywhere without one of those vehicles. It's not like we can just ask all those walkers to move out of the way. Have you tried? 
How about we make some noise and distract them? We could use that generator. That's a great idea, Gabe. When'd you get so smart, Gabe? You really aren't the same kid I remember. I'm impressed. Hey, don't give him too big of a head. He's still got some learning to do. Don't listen to him, Gabe. You're doing just fine. We still gotta get to the generator somehow. Cut a walker open and cover yourself with its guts. Oh, then not you this can again. Slip right through them. Is every fucking episode gonna have this? What? Oh, that's a great idea. Gross idea, but great. I could have saved my water bottle. <laughs> really? So, who's gonna do it? Ah, fuck it, I'll do it. You know, you do kinda owe me one. You let Conrad use me as trade. That wasn't very polite. If it makes us even. <laughs> Look, it smells really bad. Like, way worse than you think. <sighs> yeah, no, discourage me even more. That's gonna go great. Hey, this is where we were. Nice. Ugh, you'll do. Oh. Come closer, buddy, 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 buddy. Up, oh, up. Oh. Okay, that works. Good. Yoink! My corpse now. Okay. Oh, not this. Do this, Javier. Not this again. Oh, oh. oh fucking. Oh, God. Oh, oh fuck. I, Why does this have to happen to every single fucking episode? Oh, this sucks, this sucks, this sucks, this sucks. Do you just literally eat shit all day long? Is that why you smell so bad? No, he's literally rotting. It's rotting flesh. <sighs> okay. That better be enough. Alright, we can do this. Walk calmly. Just keep walking. Hello. <laughs> okay, you know what? You just go on. Go on. Get out of my way. Go on. Oh, for fuck's sake. These slow walkers, I swear to God, every fucking time I'm walking somewhere. Oh, she can't look. Get out of my way. Come on, buddies. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Hey, 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 hey. Excuse you? I said don't touch me. Personal space. Hello? Fuck. Man, I'm never going to LA again. <laughs> Yeah, you wanna just keep walking? You wanna just keep going? Can you fuck off? Can you fuck? You're getting close. Hey, hey, personal space! Stranger danger! Stranger danger! Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Jokes aside, fuck you. Alright, just keep walking then, I guess. Oh! I've got other buttons besides W.
Fuck you, game. That last death, I didn't touch anyone. That was just rude. Spread some oil on the floor, it'll be fucking hilarious. Harvey. Barely. Now that we're here, we gotta find something to seal the breach with. All we need is the right vehicle. Oh, that's not gonna do the job, man. Yes, it is. What are you doing? The right thing. But I'm leaving. We're all leaving. What? And going where? You saw it yourself. We're surrounded by the herd. I'm taking my family out of here. You helped keep them safe, Clem. You're coming too. Let's go. Everyone. We can't wait around. This is bullshit, David. Absolutely not. Everyone in Richmond will die without us. They don't matter, Javi. Don't you get that? They do to me. This all started the day we knocked on Richmond's door. We brought this on these people, all of us. We can't abandon them. Not after what we've done. We're going home, Kate. Back to the last place we were a family. We're starting over. We're all together again. Finally. It's time. All of us. A new day. A new life. What about these people that we fucking murdered? What about here, man? Make Richmond our new home. Richmond is gone, Javi. I'm not gonna let the people I love die trying to save a dead dream. No. I'll go with you, Dad. Gabe! Gabe. He's my father, Clem. I'm sorry, but you really wouldn't understand. Think this over, buddy. Gabe, is this what you really want? I know it's scary out there, but I have to. You don't have to be afraid, Gabe. I won't let what happened to Mariana happen to you. Fuck. You, you have my word. I will protect you. That's fucking bullshit, David. She was lucky to have us. At least we were actually around a race. Javi, just stop. No. This is what I want. I I understand, Gabe. I'm still going back. I won't be able to live with myself if I don't try to help the people in Richmond. You won't be able to live at all if you do that. Richmond is compromised. It doesn't matter if there were five of us trying to save it or 500. We'd all die. I know a losing battle when I see one. We're moving out. Everybody get in. That's an order. Fuck How you. How fucking dare you? What will it take, David? What will it take to show you that you do not get to do that? We are not your soldiers. Run away home. Be a deserter. I am done with you. Oof. Let's go, Javi. Why the fuck do you think he would go with you? Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, fuck. Oh, Tell him. shit. What the fuck is this? Javi. David, I thought you were dead. We were together in this that van for years, David. I mean, years. You, you shouldn't be so surprised. I should have known. I should have known the night Pa died. The night you weren't there. Blood is worthless to you. Just like he was to you. Just like I am to you. Well, Not at all. It's time for you to finally learn what blood really means. David! Dad! What do you have to say for yourself, brother? David! Stop it! I love you. No. No, you don't get to say that. <laughs> Jesus Christ, stop! David, please. I love you, man. Dare That's you. enough! Don't do it. I love you! No! Stop saying that! Stop. <laughs> Dad, no! Oh my god! You're not taking my family from me! David, no! I'm gonna fucking kill you! Fucking stop! Hey, where did you stop? I 
can't. Fuck you! Holy shit! I didn't break my promise. I did as best as I could. I saw that gun in the locker. Maybe we should grab that. David! What the hell is he doing? David took him. Uh, we can't wait any longer. We have to go help Richmond. I'm getting on that bulldozer. But Gabe... Gabe wanted to go. He did. We all heard it. You're... You're right. I'm going to save Richmond. Someone has to. Let's split up, Javi. I'll go after Gabe on that motorcycle if you don't. Otherwise, I'll go with Kate on the bulldozer. Are you sure you'll be okay without me? I can take care of myself. We're out of time. Javi, I'm sorry. I've been here before, more than once. It's not going to end well for everyone. You have to decide. It's hard to be caught in the middle. I know that. Don't worry about me, Javi. I'll be okay. I can't let Kate go by herself. It's too dangerous. I have an obligation to Richmond. Save the city. Okay. At least Gabe is relatively Gabe. safe with his dad. Idea. Be careful. And David is a club. bastard, but both of you. Basically, all of his rash decisions have been out of love so far. If we're gonna drive into the herd, we're gonna need these. He genuinely means the best. <laughs> Achievement. Family values. Fuck you, game. Oh, David is so far gone, but... On the other hand, I can't really blame him, but on the other hand, Jesus Christ, breaking that girl's arm is just... Oh. Well, there's a happy sight. Can you help us get the gate open? Almost didn't recognize you, Jesus. Jesus! Once I got in contact with my Yay! people, I headed right back. Had to make sure you folks were safe. I think I'm getting the hang of this. We'll keep the muertos away. Just get me to the gate so I can open it up. Don't rapid fire, just single fire. Cause you gotta go for the head. Almost there, Javi. Get in the basket, and I'll lift you to the top of the gate. Basket? The thing in the front, the scooper thing. <laughs> oh, hello! Let go of me, please. No, 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 no! Get out! Get off! Disgusting bitch. Oh, oh, nasty. Hobby, the basket! Right, yeah, basket. Basket. <laughs> Is that its actual name? I fucking love that. Get on top of it, buddy. Oh, hello! Oh, goodbye. Thank you! We gotta save Richmond. We gotta save as many people I'll as we can. I'll have it open in a second! I love Jesus! He's fucking dope. They couldn't just have open gate button. <laughs> of course they couldn't. Uh, I don't actually see anything, but uh, fuck it. Blue. I love blue. Okay, never mind. Red it is! Uh, shit. Are you trying to attract even more walkers? Yes, yes, I no. am. Uh, forward, backward, left, right. Uh, forward or backwards? Okay, never pull that lever again, Javier. Normally I'm quite good with these things, what the hell? Definitely not. What the fuck? <sighs> nope. I've pushed everything! Except for that one button! No way! Fuck you! You did it, Javier! Fuck you! Bingo. Let's get inside and wrangle the walkers together! 
If we get them in one group, we can lead them right out. Fuck. Please tell me it was just the general last thing that you would ever pick. And not that it's just literally that button. Because my pride will be severely hurt. You know, whatever's left. But still, severely hurt. These people are fucking awesome. Hello? Beep beep motherfucker! Oh, shit! Full steam ahead. Don't stop me now. I'm having such a good time. I'm having a ball. Don't stop me now if you wanna have a good time. Don't call me at all. Please, stay away. Pew, 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 pew. We are so fucked. Fuck this. Yeah! Not a good idea. Complete waste of ammo. piling up on the thing. The basket. Let's go. I I prefer single Shit, fire. I'm empty. Yeah, see, that's what happens. Or I could just grab your gun. Let's plug the brakes with the damn truck. I'm pressing D. I'm pressing D. Oh my god. Here we go. I can't believe we're actually trying to do this. Holy fuck. <laughs> this is epic. Beep, beep. Keep going, buddy. Fingers crossed. Yep. There's only one way to go here. We're going to heaven. Well, to hell, but still. We gotta plug this hole. Put it down. Put it down. Oh, I guess up. <laughs> I mean, it's something. That's it. Let's get out of here. Jesus, over here. We need to round up these walkers. Head them towards the cave. Welcome back. I thought we were coming back to, uh, well, not to this. <laughs> it's just a little surprising. That's all. This? Huh, this is just another Tuesday in Richmond. We need to get it under control. Trouble in one place usually finds its way to another. Javi, look! It's Clem! Gabe! Gabe? Is he...? No, no, he's fine. He's just banged up. What happened? What happened, Clem? Their car got overrun with walkers and crashed. I was barely able to save Gabe. What about David? Oh, no. David's dead. We can fuck now! I'm just glad you found Gabe in time. Thank you. Thank you for saving Gabe. I don't know what I'd do if I lost him too. Of course. When I got there, it looked like David had turned. And that Gabe had to... stop him. Oh, oh God. Gabe. I'm so sorry. Gabe. It's horrible. Javi? What's up, buddy? My, my dad... He... I know, buddy. He's... he's gone. No, no. He wanted me to tell you. Go fuck yourself! Take care of each other. Oh. oh. Where did you find them? A little ways outside of town. Not too far. Can you take Gabe somewhere safe? Yeah, sure. We can't go there. Come on, Javi. Where are we going? A funeral. We can't. You can't, you can't, you, no, you can't be like that. We left Mariana. Right there, in the middle of the junkyard, and we never went back for her. You're not gonna tell me that right now we have to go back for David. Like, this is gonna kill either of us. This is stupid. We should have just left him be. And then, give it a week or two, let the herd move off, 
fuck off, get Richmond safe, and then we can go. Hmm. I wonder who did that. Over here, King. It's this way. Holy shit. Uh, that's two. Oh. I remember those boots. Oh my god. Oh god. Poor David. Poor Gabe. I can't imagine. Gabe's come a long way. He's really grown. Did he really need to learn this lesson, though? He talked about this every day. What to do when he died. Is there a head, Schultz? Check the head. Yeah, okay, his brains are kind of exposed, but still, don't like it. He was it. convinced it would happen in the field. Every day. As common as talking about the weather. Not surprising. He was a soldier. I used to hate talking about it, but it seemed to soothe him. He'd talk about his military funeral the way that other people talked about retirement plans. He'd only change the subject if I promised I'd bury these. He didn't care about burying his body. As far as he was concerned, this was him. Help me dig. It doesn't have to be much. All right. Actually, no, dig yourself. I'm keeping watch. Hello? We're in the middle of the zombie apocalypse. Remember that? We should probably say something. Sorry for fucking your wife. That's what you do. Usually. When you see Pa, you tell him I said hi. And then I'm sorry for not paying you back that ten bucks. <laughs> Do you, uh, you want to say something? That's gonna be alright. We'll be fine. Let's go. That. Oh, I was about to say that was pre precisely the moment where a headshot would happen as well. The moment she just looked back, I was expecting a straight up shot to the head. Fuck. Three days later. Holy fuck, we finally had a bit of a happy day? What the fuck? Huh? Finally, hey, it's Jesus. Ah, trip. Is that Mariana? Conrad. I think. These photos are really weird. They're like half telltale, half real life. It's like someone just took photos of actual people and put them in a telltale, uh, what you call it, filter. Ugh, it looks, it, it, it ugh. It really has uncanny valley written all over it. It's disgusting. I don't like it. I hope they rest in peace, but fuck me. It was his own fault. If you regret helping me, if you're feeling any guilt, bury it. I mean it. Don't let it eat you up inside. We need to move on. Move forward. It's gonna eat me up inside. We do. And we will. I'll miss him. He tried his best. He did some stupid things, but... He had the best intentions. Usually the quiet scares me. What about now? There's a lot of work to be done. The herd could come back. We need to improve that wall. Still, though, I feel more calm here than than I ever did in an old van on streets with no streetlights. We earned this, Javi. We earned feeling calm in the quiet. 
I'll never feel calm. Let's start a family. Home! You and me. Jesus! A fresh start. What do you say? I think it'd be good for us. You're on. Let's start a family. You don't think it's selfish? It's not the safest world outside of Richmond. Or inside it, truth be told. We could keep everyone safe. So long as I got you, I'm not too worried about it. You know what the real reason is that I pick a choice like that, right? It's because I'm not expecting these people to survive this episode. <laughs> I'll be completely honest. I'm not expecting this family to survive this episode. So, you know, fuck it. Let's, let's just make promises for the future, sure. Like, if I was Clem right now, then I would go ahead and just think we're safe. But this... Yeah, no. There's no way they're surviving this, buddy. I don't know what to tell you, but there's no way they're surviving until the next episode. I'm so glad that we got Richmond back. A lot of death happened here, but we can make it a safe place again for people. This is all I've ever wanted to do in an apocalypse. Make a community. Reclaim parts of the city. And help Head people. Now? Yes, indeed. We came here to put an end to the raiding. Looks like that's been done. Glad we got it settled. Gotta move on. I gotta admit, man, you're a fucking badass. <laughs> you're a real charmer. Hey. You know that? Through and through. Hey. Are you really sure you don't want to stay? There's room. Oh, <laughs> I'm sure there is, but... We got other people depending on us, Javi. Just the way it is. You could get them here. I was here. worried about you, Javi. About who you are inside. You help save these people, though. That goes a long way for me. Second chances are in short supply these days. That's what this place yeah. can be if you let it. Trust me, though. Life within walls is a hell of a lot different than life on the road. Don't take shortcuts like Joan. You gotta do the right thing. Always. Good days, and especially bad. Absolutely. The right thing. No matter what. Good to hear. I read people pretty well. A little gift of mine. You're a capable guy, Javi. Change is in the air here. You can lead that change, and I think you should. For the better. God knows this town could use it. I'll guide this town to a better world. You know what? I'm gonna step up. Lead this place in the right direction. Then as far as I'm concerned, Richmond's in much better hands than it was. I hope so. I really hey, hope so. Uh Jesus? Gabe! Hey, hey uh, buddy. Gabe. Thanks for you know not letting me get killed. And for coming back to help us. Yeah. Thanks for that, man. Pay it forward. I Be will. vigilant. Trouble never stays too far away. Do you think he was the actual Jesus? Hey, Clem. How you doing? You're alive. Hey! Don't remind me. I'm not gonna say thank you for keeping me alive. But I'm gonna try and find something out there that might make me say thank you. Someday. So where's AJ? Tell me. Where? You know Clem won't rest until she finds AJ. <laughs> yes, she won't. Where is he? Please, man. For her sake. He's in McCarroll Ranch. It's not too far from here. That's... That's where we left him, at least. Thank you. Good luck out there, Doctor. Yay! So we could have killed him. You're out of here too, huh? And then... Yeah. It's time. I don't know. I have to find AJ, Javi. I've waited so long. I know. But could you do me one last favor before I leave? Tell Gabe that you love him. Because I'm fine with that. Oh, 
no! I used to do this for my niece. That's nice of you. She thought I was terrible at it. Were you? Make yep. a business. I'm really gonna miss Gabe. I mean, he's super annoying sometimes, but I've gotten used to having him around. Same. At least to have someone to talk to, even if he is a total dork. Not that he said anything to me in particular, but you know the guy's got a mondo crush on you, right? He does not. Oh my god. <laughs> you have a crush, have a crush on, on that too. Not. <laughs> both have my blessing. I'm gonna stab you with those scissors. I have to see AJ Javi. I have to see that he's okay. I know. Do you think he remembers me? At least a little. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. Who could forget you, Clem? No one who knew you, I guarantee it. Yeah, maybe. Everyone told us he was better off. After everything that's happened, I'm starting to think they're right. I don't know if I was a good mom or not. You tried your best. I can't stop thinking about it. I really... It's not about good or not good. You kept him alive. You did your job. Until someone else had to do it for me. You didn't have a choice in that. That's different. Gabe told me you used to play baseball. Sort I did. of. I loved it. He told me you fucked it all up too. Yep. Yep. Sure did. Well, you survived. I had to. But you loved it. How do you survive that? How? With a lot if of time. You really loved it. How? <clears throat> Get back out there and find something better. There may not be something better out there. You won't know until you step outside. You could always bring AJ back here. We'll try our best to save him. All done. And to let him grow up. Well, how's it look? Oh, wow! You know what? I'll grab your hat. <laughs> <laughs> Remember this team. Your dad ever teach you about baseball? No, not really. Well, you come back, and I'll tell you all about it. It's a deal. If I bring AJ back with me, will you teach him too? I'd love to. You bet. He belongs with you, Clementine. You got this. You could save him. Bring him back. He belongs with us. With you. And you belong to be here with us. We'll do our best to keep it safe, to expand, and to help as many people as we can. You can do this. Take care, Clementine. She's gonna kiss him. No? Oh! <laughs> I'd love to see the look on his face. <laughs> and headshot. No. No, don't. Don't do this to me. No, 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 no. Don't tell me. Are we getting a happy ending? No. Don't give me the achievement sound. Don't tell me it's over. No way. No way we're getting a happy ending. Something has to go wrong. Oh my god! Happy ending! Holy fuck! No way!
so far, after both the first and the second game, I felt distraught. Like, l literally, just mentally hurt. But this... What could we have fucked up? And did we do the best thing or something? Could Gabe be dead? Could Gabe be dead? Like... What, what, what were the possibilities here? No way this was scripted, right? No way there was a happy ending scripted in this game. I, I, I don't believe it. Oh! Alright! Well... But let's just go through this first. My experience with David was heartfelt. I accepted his hand after he punched me on the night my father died. You supported David's plan to meet at his house in Richmond. In time of need, you distanced yourself from David. And Gabe has to brain his own father after David turns. I loved him as a brother, but he went too far, man. Experience with Kate was romantic. Oh, really? You think? I kissed her in the junkyard. I rejected her plan to leave Richmond. Yeah, I genuinely felt this was a better choice. You told Kate you wanted the future with her, and you told Kate that you wanted to start a family with her. Oh, fuck me. Um. Fuck. Yeah. Fierce was gave us safety first. That's my experience with everything. Safety first. I'm constantly calculating risks. Always safety first. That's why I did not like to be on that fucking highway. I upset Gabe by not staying in the trailer for the night. I don't care. We have to get out of there. I told Gabe the truth about his neighborhood friend. That was, that, that was also calculated with it. Hell yeah. I had to. We had to know. It's a zombie apocalypse. You can't just keep lies from your children anymore. Depending how old they are. I, I felt he was old enough to know that everything's going to shit. So that he knows that he has a responsibility to stay quiet during the night and don't fight with his sister. Because it might kill us. And I helped Kate save Richmond before going off the game. I'm very, very curious to know how the story would have gone if we went after Gabe. If we went after Gabe, do you think that we would have found the car, David would have died, we would have saved Gabe, and then Kate would have died in Richmond? There's so many possibilities going through my head right now, and I don't know which possibilities are an actual ending, because uh, with how we played the second game, Kenny survived. Kenny is still alive right now in the world because yes, I was stupid. I checked out the wiki for Kenny. <laughs> Either Kenny dies by us stab uh, shooting him while he was fighting with Jane, or um, we go with him. And if we if, like, if we went to oh, what was that place again? Well, that city we wanted to go to. If we got there. And we went with Kenny instead of going into the city. We would have had a flashback about Kenny crashing into a tree and sacrificing himself to save us. Literally, the only possibility that Kenny was still alive is by doing exactly what we did. No joke, exactly what we did. We killed... We, we didn't kill Kenny to save Jane. And then we also stayed at that city and we let Kenny go off on his own. So there were so many choices there that impacted the ending. I'm telling you all this because that's what's making me think right now about the ending of this episode. We got, in my opinion, possibly the best possible ending. And I really, really want to know what would have changed. What could have changed. What could have been and what would never have been. If we did things right, or if this was basically scripted and our choices didn't matter that much. I'm very curious. Because I feel like we got the best ending so far. Clem safe and going after AJ. And we got Gabe, and we got Kate to survive. I genuinely thought we would not survive this episode. I genuinely thought only Clem would have been the survivor walking off into the distance of the city once again as the lone survivor. But this? This is good. So, after Gabe, we got... Yeah... Hmm. Trip died. Eleanor survived. Which is great. I did not forgive her. I, I forgive her eventually. But not yet, because... Because of her action, Trip died. 
And I'm very sorry about Trip dying. But given that Trip and Ava were basically the same character, just a different model on top of it, I think that if we would have spared Ava, which would have made Joan shoot Ava so that Trip survives, I think that Trip still would have died on that highway just like Ava did. So I don't think a lot of possibility was there. Ava died. I'm so sorry about Ava. Langard survived. That's also a choice I'm, I'm kind of proud of. That we let Lingard survive. We could have killed him. But we refused to give him a lethal infection. And after everything was over. When he was back. You know. In a sober mind. He actually told Clementine where AJ is located. So. I feel that with Lingard. We did the best thing. I feel sorry for Ava, even though we did things pretty alright, but that overpass, yeah. Conrad died. I feel sorry for Conrad. I go stress seen through Conrad's poker game, and he didn't prevent Gabe from shooting at Conrad's feed. Yeah, yeah, I didn't expect him to actually do anything. But that was one of those dialogue options that says something and the character did something a bit different. So, yeah. Then he did sacrifice himself to run me... F to... to... <laughs> he sacrificed himself to save me from a runaway truck. That is... I, oh, I'm sorry about Conrad. I wonder if I could have been quick enough with that quick time event to... not have him push me out of the way and to have him survive. I'm glad he stayed until that part, though. Because I'm pretty sure he could have died way earlier in the game. And Jesus, I never... Jesus would have survived anyway. He's a fucking badass. I mean, did you see him do that wall run? Holy crap. That dude is the biggest badass ever. I love it. Oh, Joan's whereabouts are unknown, right? We never actually captured her. Fuck. That might come to bite us in the ass. Ah, oh, Clint. I think that's the point where I started to turn on David, when he actually killed Clint. Even though Clint was actually going against Joan, and he was trying to save us. He just said, you know, get the fuck out of here. And David still shot him. Fuck. Ah, oh, fuck you. I'll just put up the image again. <sighs> Alright, I don't know if anything is gonna be after this slide, but... Everyone, thank you so much for watching and experiencing this game with me. I feel happy after finishing a Walking Dead game and that doesn't happen often. But yeah, holy fuck, we did it. We had a happy ending. And... Fuck. I mean, it wasn't too happy. I wish things could have been different, but... It happened. And now we're here. And there's only one game left, and I'm very curious to see what that game is going to be. Because it could be us continuing Richmond, it could be just us playing as Clementine again, and then just experiencing people saying like, Oh, Richmond, that city got overrun by raiders, blah blah blah, everyone died, you know? I wonder if we're gonna see these characters again, or if we're gonna switch over to Clementine, or if we're gonna switch over to AJ. I don't even know if there's gonna be a time skip of 10 years or whatever. It's gonna be very interesting, very... It's... it's, it's I'm looking forward to it, because so far I'm loving these games. I, I love the Walking Dead Telltale series. I love Telltale in general. All the games they make, they're so good. But... I'm curious and excited. And I'm gonna play it as well. Like, <laughs> you can bet your ass I'm gonna play it. I didn't play three games in a quadrilogy just to not play the last one. Uh, I'm fucking happy. Oh. After this, I'm definitely going on Google and seeing what kind of endings we could have had and what we could have done wrong and everything. But now, for now, it's a good day. Okay, that does nothing. Continue. <laughs> Do 
Just imagining we see Clem just immediately getting bitten. It's the end. Just Joan appears behind those garbage van, the garbage things. Just shoots her in the head. Clem is now a woman on a mission, and nothing is going to keep her away from AJ. I'm gonna find you, AJ. Hell yeah. Clementine's story will continue! Alright, we're following Clementine in the next game. I love this game's choice to not go with Clementine as protagonist. And then we actually changed to some completely random person and Clementine was just a side character. I love that. That was a great uh, creative choice for the game. That was a great choice. It was genuinely genius. Because otherwise it was way too predictable. But now, it's so many different things it's 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 genuinely a great idea this game is a great game it it doesn't it it oh how do i formulate this the first game is the best game this game got close i mean it'll never be as good as the first game because that was just an absolute masterpiece but it this game is definitely great and i think the second game is then the game so as in my favorite Walking Dead game so far is one, third, second. And then we just have to see how this story is going to end. And if you want to, you can follow my story with Clementine in the next game. Thank you for watching and take care. Take care of yourself. And of the people around you. Even. Take care of people like David. They're just trying their best. I get the fucking.